Hello out there, Internet. This is Cameron Porter with Robinhood Studios here to help you out with some more tips. This is part one of three. We're talking about exposure. What is exposure? Well, it's how bright or how dark the image looks on your camera. One of the quickest ways to tell an amateur work from a professional's work is whether the exposure is on point or whether it's a little bit off. Is the image too bright? Is the image too dark? There are three really main things that you can control to adjust the exposure on your camera. And the first one is the subject of this video. We're talking about shutter speed, okay? You maybe have heard the term shutter speed. What is the shutter? The shutter is actually the physical or sometimes electronic device that allows the sensor to be exposed and then it cuts it off. And that's the image. So a movie is just a compilation of images. So if it's 30 frames per second, that means your camera is just taking 30 pictures every second. And then at the end, it encodes it into a video file for you. So by adjusting the shutter speed, you can make your image brighter or darker. Now, if you make the shutter speed faster, the, the sensor has less time that it's able to capture the light because the shutter closes on it quicker. So because it has less time to absorb light, your image is darker. If you slow down the shutter speed, you can actually have a brighter image. But here's the catch. Shutter speed also makes one other impact on your image. It changes the way we see movement. So if you slow down your shutter speed, you're gonna see a lot more motion blur. Or if you speed up your shutter speed, the motion's gonna seem a lot more jerky. So what does that actually look like? So here you can see me. So this looks pretty normal because we're at a normal shutter speed, but what happens when we speed up the shutter, when we make the shutter go a lot faster? So we're gonna alter one of the cameras to have a much higher shutter speed, and we're gonna show you the differences. Now we are going to make adjustments to other things uh, on the camera so that the image is about the same brightness so that you can compare apples to apples what a fast shutter speed and a normal shutter speed look like. So now we've got it at a fast shutter speed and it looks like this. You can see that the, the motion is w much more jerky. It's kind of hard to describe unless you've seen it before, unless you're talking to someone who's seen it before. But yeah, it's much more jerky. So what about slow shutter speed? Well, now we're gonna slow down the shutter speed and show you what the difference is between a fast, a normal, and a slow shutter speed besides the effect it has on the brightness of the image. So now we're at a slow shutter speed. This is what that same motion looks like with a slow shutter. <laughs> We've got the peanut gallery over here laughing at me. It's probably crazy blurry. I, I don't know what it looks like, but it's probably insanely blurry because the shutter speed is so slow. So that's the effect that shutter has on your image. It makes it look unnatural if you try to use shutter speed to adjust exposure. Unfortunately, smartphones do this by default because it's the easiest uh, mechanically and digitally speaking, it's the easiest thing to adjust when you want to make your image darker or brighter is shutter speed. But unfortunately, it has very obvious effects on your image quality. So that is shutter speed. Those are the effects it has. If you need to, in a pinch, you can use it for to adjust the exposure of your image, but rely on other things first. We're gonna talk about what those other things are in our next two parts. Again, with Robin Hood Studios, I'm Cameron Porter.